Okay, some light. Here I am. Here I am. <laughs> Very large. That's better. That's much better. Evening. Welcome back to another episode. Uh, it, it won't be a full episode. I'm sitting in my PHEV tonight. I'm preparing the car for the battery swap. I will take a record of all the software versions of the car and I'll show you how this works because there's a hidden menu in the MMCS you have to go to and in there you can see all the software versions. Um, I'll show you how it works. We can. Okay, I, I have to have the air condition on at the moment. We had, we had 39 degrees today and we are still having 30. It's 9 p.m. Okay, so first of all you want to have a look in the in the actual okay let's start again press the info button and go to more okay okay Let, let's start again so press the info button more ah I was already in more and click on version info this gives you the software version and the map version which is probably not... I know they have updated the software version a couple of times when I had the car... This dust! When I had the car in service. So this is AK. Okay, to get into the hidden service menu you have to press the... You have to press the settings button and the map button at the same time for five seconds. There we go. And now we are in the service menu. And here you can adjust, um, like, like uh, uh, present. Yeah, you can you can find you on your your GPS signal and units um, GPS settings. You can adjust your monitor check. You can adjust your camera, the back camera, so you can go back and forward. Oh, there's no. Hang on. Put it in reverse. Get some more light. So you can you can adjust these lines if they are not correctly set. Okay, but we are looking for the we are looking for the version lock information. No, that's not the one. Version indication, that's maybe the one. Ah yeah, yeah. Yeah. Main microcomputer, display microcomputer, HD microcomputer. Navi loader, Navi application, map data, premium amp, CAN box, CD, blah blah, whatever. Okay, so I've got this information. You can check the CAN bus function. Um, memory initialization serial number information okay whatever that is update vehicle information upload the upload button is not working huh interesting so you can upload your own I wasn't aware of that okay that's basically it Delete all backup data. No, 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 no. Okay, and we are back. So settings and maps, five seconds, and then you come into the hidden service menu. Okay, I got all the details I need. I just wanted to see actually, this is bloody stupid here anyway. Come on off there. Okay, I've got the, um, I've got the tripod here in the car set up. So that was the one thing I wanted to do. Oh, this is very yellow. This is this is one thing I wanted to do. I I took note of all the software versions which are in the car, and I just wanted to see if they do a software update as well after the battery replacement. I I doubt they will because this would be a special software just for this car, or a special software update just for the cars who are getting new batteries. I'm talking about the battery. I just wanted to do something as well. Um, I'll show you. It is dark now. Do we get a focus? 
Oh yeah, it's focusing. So you can, in your PHEV, you can actually see when your battery has been built. There's a sticker on the side of the battery where you can uh, see the manufacturer date of the battery. I'll show you how this looks like. Um, on my car it is on the passenger side roughly where you need more light. So passenger side roughly where the door handle is. You go all the way down and look exactly. Okay and there's the sticker. It has a barcode on it and important are the numbers 1402. This is the month and year of manufacturing. So my battery has been built in February 2014. And then I've got these stickers in my door frames here. One is on the passenger side. And you can see in the top right hand corner of the sticker it says built February 2014. So this is the same date as the battery sticker. And that's when they have built the car. But there's another one on the other side, which is far more interesting. Okay, so and then we've got one over here on the driver's side. And there is another date on there, 0415, which means April 2015. This is 14 months later than the car has been built. So... So I found this I found this quite interesting that the car has been built 14 months before it has been registered the first time. So I don't know where the car has been between February 2014 and April 2015. 14 months where we don't know what happened to the car and more important what happened to the battery. Was the car being built and then shipped over to Australia and sitting here somewhere for over a year with an empty battery? I wouldn't be surprised if this is the case. <laughs> Creepy light. Yeah. We had our first meeting with Mitsubishi last Monday via Skype. There were a couple of people and one of them seemed to be a, like a technical manager or something, I don't know. But he explained that they have regulations and policies how to handle batteries which, which are produced. So basically they, they keep them in a, in a controlled environment, like temperature-wise and charge-wise. So obviously they have some kind of, I don't know, probably like a, like a shipping container with an air condition on there and being kept at 20 degrees and there's also a charger connected to it so they're getting trickle charged or whatever at, at least that's what that's what he um, told us because we've asked the question what happened to the battery we are getting into our cars and how long has this been sitting somewhere and that's when he started to explain they've got these controlled environments for these batteries okay guys so far I probably probably should not say this on camera but I will mark the battery case as well I'll, I'll put a I'll put a scratch somewhere a really deep scratch into this battery chassis somewhere just to make sure they're really replacing the battery <laughs> at the moment I don't know I just want to make sure they are replacing the battery and not just the label on it but um, don't tell anyone Okay guys, so far this um, little update about my preparation for the battery swap on Monday. I guess they will keep the car for a couple of days. I get a long car anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I should turn off the car here. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. This is, ah, uh, it wasn't even a full episode, so no, don't forget it. Stay charged and we will see us tomorrow. And we hopefully see us tomorrow evening at 8 p.m. Brisbane time for the first live chat on live stream live event on YouTube. Until then guys you stay charged and we will see us tomorrow. Okay see you then bye bye. Uh, I will I will definitely brand and 
exposure, the better. I will definitely mark the battery somewhere on a hidden place and take a photo of it and see if this mark is still there when I get the car back. It's better. <laughs>